Now I need to move my whole word over. So don't copy me. Just don't merge down anything. I just need to do this. And there we go. Now we can move our arrow into place properly. And if you want to, you can set the opacity down to about 50% to see where the arrow meets the E. So something like that. Now you want to alpha to selection, right click on your text layer, your last half actually, and click alpha to selection. And with your eraser tool, and on your arrow layer, then you want to erase. Erase everything completely. Like that. Now you want to go select, invert, and then erase just this section between the letters. Select, none. Now you want to set the opacity back to full. And you're going to repeat the process we did before by making it this yellow. So alpha to selection, select grow by one pixel, fill it in with the fill bucket tool with our yellow color. The same one this is important. Select none and just merge that down onto the sort of the last half layer. Now actually before when I chose the size of my sort of arrow then I chose the wrong size so it looks a bit odd. You do a better job okay I'm a bad example. Sorry about that I just had to cut out for a second because my screen recorder if I stay for too long then it cuts out or doesn't save or something like that and I didn't want to risk it. What we want to do now is we want to click on the eye for this or the invisible eye. We want to make it visible on the copy of our arrow so that it appears over here and then with our move tool which looks like the four arrows I described before we want to click um, and move it into place so right about the size at the bottom of your first letter. And you want to click layer, auto crop layer. Oopsies, wrong layer. Layer, auto crop layer, layer, transform, flip horizontally. And what this does is it makes sure that our arrow is facing the right way. Oh my, I might need to move my text again. It's always in the way. Okay. So we'll just move it into position like that and we'll do pretty much the exact same thing which is right click on our text layer with our arrow our eraser sorry we're going to erase on this layer actually I guess that's kind of irrelevant and then select invert where is it invert keep erasing in between our letters select none and you might get some residue over here. You see there's a little white outline. You can fix that just with a paintbrush by just going over it in black. Not a big deal really. And as you can see I have the same problem with the size of my arrow compared to my letters. But you know that I'm a bad person. I shouldn't have done that. But what are we going to do about it now? Now you remember before when we made the black text yellow? We're going to do the same thing except make our black text white. So forget just like forget what the next happens in the next 30 seconds or something. I just need to do something that you don't Oopsies, wait. First merge down your arrow layer. Don't forget that. Merge that down and uh I just need to separate these layers again edit, cut, edit, paste, edit. and there. okay sorry um so now you just want to right click on your first half and click alpha to selection select grow by one pixel fill with white select shrink by one pixel, select invert, edit, cut, select none. And so now our text is white and you can't see it. But if you make the background invisible by clicking the eye, you can see our text is now white, as the first half of the subway logo is. 
Now you want to merge your text layers together. So right click on the top one, click merge down. And so now it's all one big layer. You want to right click and click alpha to selection. So all your text is selected, including the arrows. And you want to click select, grow, and grow by about five pixels, something like that. I use that. And create a new layer. And you want to take your fill bucket tool and set your foreground color to something like 15, 43, 32. This dark turquoise greenish color um, that we're going to use for the sort of outline of our text. So click and everything should turn green. Click select none. And in your layers dialog, move this blue below your text layer. So now it has the outline that subway logos normally have. Now you want to right click on your text layer and click merge down. So now we have one big layer with an outline and everything. Now you want to take your uh, text tool once more and type your text eat fresh in the same font and same size. Oh dear, it's not showing up. There we go. So it'll automatically create a new layer for you, something like that. And if you look at the real Subway logo, you'll realize that the text here is actually quite a bit squashed. And seeing as there's no set way to do that, I figured out my own way. You want to take your scale tool, which looks like sort of a smaller square with an arrow pointing to a bigger square. Click on your text layer. And in this dialog that pops up, you want to make sure that these chains are unchecked and you want to click on this top middle square and squash it down to about like that so three quarters about and click scale what this does is it just squashes our text to make it look a bit more like the other the real original subway logo so now you want to take your rectangle select and once again, select a square, like I taught you, by pressing, sorry, shift, like that, about like that, and filling it in with our green color again. And you can do this on the same layer, because you don't need to edit it separately. Select none, and we're almost, almost done. You want to take your rotate tool, which looks like a rectangle, then a rotated rectangle, click on your text layer and in the rotate dialog that pops up you want to rotate by about negative eleven that should be about good click rotate and you'll see it's tilted like so then just move it below your text and optionally you can go image flatten image and that's about it subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching